Okay, dear students, let us see how are we going to do this question now. System X has a temperature of 40 degrees C. Thermal energy is provided to the system until its temperature reaches 50 degrees. System Y is at a temperature of 283 Kelvin, which is like approximately, you can say, 10 degrees C. Thermal energy is provided to the system Y also until it reaches the temperature of 293 Kelvin. Now, 293 is 20 degrees C. What is the difference in the thermal energy provided to both systems? Well, my dear students, okay. So now delta T is given to us. The change in temperature is given to us and we want to have a, a relationship between uh, the change in temperature and the heat that is supposed to be provided to the system. And this becomes the typical case of sensible heating Sensible heating is the heating in which temperature rises or the heat withdrawal when the temperature falls. So we say Q is equal to MC delta T. This is the formula that we use for sensible heating. And the question is asking like for which system the heat has to be provided, the which was provided has to be more. So, well, reading the question again, you see, M is not given to us. Specific heats are also not given to us. And even that is not written that both of the systems are similar, identical, same. They are made up of the same material or something. Nothing is given here. They are only talking about delta T. Now delta T is the same in both of the cases. You see 40 degrees C converted into 50. And here basically 10 degrees C is converting into 20. So delta T in both of the cases is coming out to be 10 units. You can call it C degree or you can call it Kelvin also. So in both of the cases, this uh, temperature is the same, but data is not given properly. And do not worry at all. D option is there, cannot be determined with the given data. And that's absolutely correct. And what I can say is just uh, because the answer is D anyways, if let us say it is given in the question that masses are equal, even then we will not be able to find like which system would be having more heat. Why? Because specific heat is not given. Now, more is the specific heat, more is specific heat. It means for the same mass and for the same change in temperature, you need more energy. So more thermal energy has to be given to the system of the same mass for the same change in temperature. Clear? So this is all, my dear students. This is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best.